Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss riders that are linked to the theorem that states a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle cuts the other two sides so as to divide them in the same proportion. When we are using them in riders, if we see a triangle with parallel lines, immediately you can say that the sides are in proportion. And if you see that the sides are in proportion, then immediately you can say that the lines are parallel. Now let's read the following. In triangle ABC, they're telling us that DE is parallel to BC. So I know that it is now in proportion. Okay, I know that AD to DB is going to equal to AE over EC. <clears throat> they further go to say that AB is 35 centimeters. Now remember, this is a length. It is not a proportion. After that, they say that AE to EC is 4 is to 3. This is now a proportion or a ratio. How do I know that? It's in its simplest form. So I'm going to make this K and K. Remember I had earlier said that when we're working with a proportion, put down an unknown because it implies that I am not saying it is 4 centimeters or 4 meters or 4 millimeters. I'm saying it's 4 unknowns. Now they're asking you to calculate the length of BD. Now, if I look on the side of AE and EC, I have AE, I have EC, but I also have AC. AC is equal to 7K because I'm adding 4 plus 3. Now, when you're working with these riders, always try and get 3 out of 4. That is the trick. You're going to try and get 3 out of 4. Now, what does that mean? When we're working with the ratios, we're working with fractions. I'm going to say things like AD over AB. I'm going to say AD over DB or AE over EC. But when you're looking, look at the triangle and see if I'm going to create a fraction. How can I get the maximum of at least 3? Now, if you look on this, on this side, AC... I've got enough information. I've got one side, two side, three sides. But you must always try and work it out so that you have on one side two infos and the other side one info. Because that would make it easier for you. Now if you look on the side of AB, I do have one. You see I have the 35. If I'm working with the 35, they must be balanced, which means if I'm working with AB on the left-hand side, the balanced side to it would be AC. Now, I could have chosen anything on the side of AC. I could have chosen AE. I could have chosen a, um, AC. I could, chose, I could choose EC, but I am choosing AC. Why? Because on this side, I have AB. Remember, we're trying to create a balance. So if I got AB on the one side, they ask me to calculate BD. So I have AB over BD. It is equal to, now what is the same partner of AB but on the right hand side? The partner is AC. So I have 7K over. And then what is the partner of BD? If you look, BD the partner on the right hand side would be EC. So I have EC which is 3K. Now I can cancel out the case and I can fill in what I have. So I'm filling in the 35 centimeters and then I cancelled out the case to simplify the ratio. Now it's a matter of cross multiplying. So I have 7BD is equal to 3 times 35. And then are you going to divide by 7? Divide by 7. Remember this is normal standard solve for x. This work is done in grade 9. So if you are not familiar with your basic cross multiplying, basic solve for x, you need to go back to your grade 10 work to revise this. You will find it under the summaries and the revisions of the grade 10 syllabus. So BD 
would be equal to 15 centimeters. Now look how we use the ratio to calculate the answers. So BD is 15. How would we know what is AD? It would be 35 minus 15, which would equal to 20. And if you simplify that ratio, it would be 20 over 15, which is equal to 4 over 3. Exactly the same as the right hand side. Let's take another example. Now these examples, they tend to get more challenging as you go on. So what you need to do is you need to remember the simple rules that if it's parallel, it's in proportion. The ratios are the same. And when you write the ratios, write down unknowns. Now, they're telling me in triangle ABC, AC is parallel to DE. So I have AC is parallel to DE. Then I have that AD is parallel to FE. Now it is important that you clearly mark it. Take your highlighters, take your markers and mark it because you must be able to see the triangle linked to those parallel lines. Then they tell us that FD is 3 and BF is 4. Now immediately you should know, but this is a ratio. Now, when you write a ratio, write an unknown. Because this would help you later when you have more ratios on the same drawing. Now what they are asking us is to find the ratio of BC to BF. If you're looking at the green parallel lines, the green parallel lines AD and EF make the triangle ADB. Now, if we're working with that triangle and I have 3P on this side, then that means I would have 3 on the other side. And if I have 4 on this side, then on the other side, I'm also going to have 4. But notice I'm not putting P. Because P is linked to the length. Whereas in 3 and 4 are ratios. Now what do I have? How do I know that? I know that FD over BF is going to equal to AE over EB. And why? Lines parallel to one side of the triangle. Now, FD is 3P and FB is 4P. If I cancel off the P's, then I know AE over EB is going to equal to 3 over 4. And that's how come I know that AE is 3 and I know that EB is 4. Now, let's go on. Let us look at the blue parallel lines. If you look at the blue parallel lines, then you would notice that EB and AE is linked to DC and DB. Can you see? AE over EB is going to be linked to DC over BD. Why? Lines parallel to one side of the triangle. I'm using a different set of parallel lines, but it is the same rule. So what would I have now? Now I would have had that DC over BD is going to equal to 3K. So what do I have? I have that DC over BD is going to equal to 3K over 4K. Again, the Ks cancel out. So I'm left with 3 over 4. But again, remembering even though it's a ratio, it does not imply it's the same length. Which means now, when I am writing 3 is to 4, 
I need to put an alphabet. So let's make it 3x to 4x. When they're telling you to work with BF to BC, you have to make sure that they are all linked to the same alphabet. Which means that you're either going to make the P's into X's or the X's into P's. Now you can see 4x is equal to how many P's? 7 P's. So I'm going to have 4x is equal to 7p. So p is equal to 4 over 7x. Right? Now if I have the ratio, let's say I have the ratio bf over bc. What do I have? bf is 4p. So I'm going to say 4 times 4 over 7x. Why am I doing that? When you're working with ratios that are not the same. The aim is to get them to be all one unknown. Then only can you use them as a ratio. So I can't say it's 4p over 7x. Okay, I need to convert this p. So now I've got basically what you are saying is that you are saying if you look, you're saying 4p, isn't it? Because that's what it is. It's 4p over what is the entire thing? 7x. But we can't use p, so you're using the concept of simultaneous equations. And that's how come in place of p, I put 4 over 7x. Now it's a matter of calculation. So we can see our x's can cancel out. And then you have 16 over 7 divided by 7. So I'm saying 16, 4 times 4 is 16 over 7 divided by 7, which is equal to 16 over 49. And that is what the ratio would be. Thank you for watching.